the perfect time to recruit more sinners for the hotel! Cute idea and all. After the pilot for Has Been Hotel premiered on Vivzy Pop's YouTube channel, fans of the upcoming series needed something to tide them over as they eagerly awaited the first season. The spin-off series, Hell of a Boss, would be their saving grace, as it currently has two seasons of content on Vivzy Pop's channel and expands on the society in Hell. Unlike its parent series, Hell of a Boss follows a group of hellborn demons who work as assassins in the lower rings of Hell, with their targets including their fellow demons and humans on Earth. The main characters, Blitz, Moxie, and Millie, operate their business, IMP, and go on new numerous adventures. Now that Has Been Hotel has finally aired, there's no reason the two series can't share a crossover in future episodes. In today's video, we're considering five characters from Hell of a Boss who could reasonably appear in Has Been Hotel. You three monsters have messed with us enough! Dude, we're just trying to do our job! Number 1. Blitz as the main protagonist in Hell of a Boss, Blitz could appear in future episodes of Has Been Hotel. As an imp, a class of hellborn demon, it's unlikely that Blitz would approach Charlie's hotel for a shot at redemption. However, he could offer his aid as a business venture, believing the Princess of Hell would have enough funds to help endorse IMP. As the owner and manager of his organization, Blitz often has the final say on which clients he, Moxie, and Millie accept. While they usually take contracts to kill human targets, they occasionally find themselves facing off against other demons. Charlie places a target on her back when she faces off against Adam's exorcists in The Show Must Go On. Although she wanted to find a peaceful solution to Hell's overpopulation problem, she had to prepare for war, creating a makeshift army by recruiting rosy citizens in Cannibal Town. She doesn't have the resources for an all-out war against Heaven if necessary, so she may need to accept help from other locations in Hell. Blitz could benefit from this exchange, providing weapons and fighters for the right price. IMP already has experience fighting angels as they face off against a group of cherubs in the episode Cherub. With very loose morals and willingness to kill anyone who gets in their way, the employees of IMP could be the elite fighting force Charlie has needed since the beginning. While the Princess of Hell isn't quick to endorse violence, accepting Blitz's help could be a necessary evil to keep her friends safe. She could also help him work through some of his childhood trauma as she has a knack for bringing out the best in people, even when knowing them briefly. Of course, of course. If we do kill him though and he ends up down here, you know, you will be stuck with him. Number 2. Stolas Hell may seem like a lawless land plagued by chaos, but a hierarchy does exist that helps maintain order. Lucifer is at the top of the chain of command as the absolute ruler alongside Lilith, followed by Charlie. Below the Morning Stars are a group of demons with notable influence and power. One of those groups includes the Ars Goetia, a group of demons likely inspired by the Ars Goetia from the Book of Solomon, also known as the 72 Strongest Demons. However, very little appears about these demons in Has Been Hotel, but a supporting character in Hell of a Boss, Stolas, is one of its members. Stolas is another noble in Hell, considered a Goetic Prince. He currently lives with his daughter Octavia and is experiencing a nasty divorce. Stolas's life hasn't been perfect, but he tries to maintain a flamboyant, flippant, and optimistic personality. He has romantic feelings for the main character, Blitz, and cares for his teenage daughter more than anything. Compared to the other demons, Stolas is kinder, more compassionate, and likely to sympathize with the Hasbin Hotel's cause. He also possesses a grimoire that allows him passage onto Earth, meaning he has likely witnessed more of the good that comes from humanity's free will, unlike Lucifer who is cursed to experience the bad. Speaking of Lucifer, he has plenty in common with Stolas to help them bond. They're influential members of Hell with significant responsibilities. However, they enjoy the same things, like music, sorcery, and family that make their daily lives worthwhile. Lucifer and Stolas have similar arcs about reconnecting with their daughters in Dad Be Dad and Seeing Stars. With so many similarities, the two could see eye to eye and become friends in Has Been Hotel. But what would possess you to do such a thing? You know I haven't taught you spells like this yet. Number 3. Fizzerali Like Angel Dust, a well-known celebrity in the Pride Ring because of his connections to Valentino, the clown Fizzerali amassed a significant following throughout Hell, working for several influential demons including Mammon, his former boss, and the Sin of Greed. Fizzerali's fame resulted in him partaking in the annual Mammon's Clown pageant, as seen in Mammon's magnificent musical mid-season special. Fizzerali's popularity and likeness resulted in robotic versions of himself mass-produced for various purposes. The first appearance of these robots occurred in Hell of a Boss's Lululand episode, with the main antagonist being a performer robot at the theme park. However, these robots appear early in Has Been Hotel, with Valentino owning one he calls Kitty and Radio Killed the Video Star. Fortunately, Fizzerali ended his working relationship with Mammon in the latest episode of Hell of a Boss, meaning he's free to travel wherever he likes and do whatever he wants with his career. Fizzerali genuinely enjoys performing, having grown up in the circus with a natural talent for entertaining an audience. Unlike most other Hellborn demons, he doesn't have a penchant for violence and would
would rather spend time uplifting his audiences. With Fizzarali embracing his true self away from Mammon, it would be the perfect time to travel to Pentagram City, where he can meet other hopeful souls with an all is welcome mentality and a love of musicals. It's just how he is. I mean, if he talked to me that way, that's fine. Number 4 Cherubs. The main antagonists in Hasbin Hotel include a group of angels called the Exorcists who descend to Hell each year to have a mass extermination. These angels follow the first human, Adam, and receive orders from the High Seraphim, Sarah. These crucial characters have recurring appearances in the series as they're constantly trying to stop Charlie from redeeming the souls of sinners. Charlie met with some of these angels directly in Welcome to Heaven, where she's permitted to tour Heaven for a day before her trial with the Council of Angels. Despite the significant role Heaven has to play in the series, Sarah, Adam, and Emily aren't the first angels we meet in the universe overall. Blitz, Moxie, and Millie have a showdown against a group of angels in the episode Cherub. The conflict arises when their organization receives a target who has heavenly protection. Blitz and his fellow imps must compete with Cherubs over the fate of the man's life. The Cherubs appear as animal-themed angels with their sole purpose being to protect the lives of humans, showering them with love and giving them reasons to live. The main Cherubs in the episode include Cletus, Colin, and Keeney. However, they become banished from heaven for indirectly causing the death of a human. These banished angels could appear in hell or their former co-workers could have appearances in heaven. Mm, yeah, no sorry, Cletus, but I'm afraid your actions resulted in the death of a human. Number 5. The Seven Deadly Sins Regarding the hierarchy of hell, the group of demons who fall directly under Lucifer in power are called the Seven Deadly Sins. The group's leader is Lucifer, who embodies the sin of pride. His fellow sins share a name with the rings of hell, with business ventures and control in each of them. So far, Lucifer is the only sin to appear in Hasbin Hotel. Since Hell of a Boss takes place throughout numerous locations in hell, other sins have appeared throughout the series, including Beelzebub, voiced by Kesha, Mammon, and Asmodeus. Some of the Seven Deadly Sins are more agreeable, showing kindness and sympathy to their fellow demons, while others are crueler and quick to lose support from those around them. Since Lucifer is meant to lead them all, it would be interesting to see how he interacts with them as a team and individually, especially considering the character growth he received throughout Hasbin Hotel's first season. They got gifted free will and look what they did with it, everything's terrible! Since the two series occur within the same universe, any character from Hell of a Boss entering Hasbin Hotel can expand the main series just by appearing. The story could shift away from the Pride Ring for a single episode, showing locations far from Charlie's hotel and introducing the dynamics between characters meeting for the first time. Charlie would have trouble redeeming an assassin like Blitz, while Fizzarali seems like he'd fit in perfectly with the hotel's residents. Any combination of characters would be a blast to see on screen together as they become friends, feud, and push the narrative forward. I'm trying to talk to you. You can't force yourself. Oz, to I have to do this. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Can't afford me. Gross! I'd never think of it, Spider. <laughs>